Hello and welcome to HOSC's Microsoft Dynamics CRM Development YouTube channel. Today's uh, video episode lesson is setting up your Visual Studio with the Developer Toolkit for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. This is going to be one of my what I call foundation series of knowledge that you're going to need if you want to be a CRM developer. These are the core things you need to know about just to sort of get started. And they're going to be the CRM SDK, you can have a look at that, what files are useful, um, developer toolkit, which we're going to install today. We're not actually going to create a plugin, we're just going to install it, make sure that you're connected up. Developer endpoints, plugins, what are they, what classes do you need to extend, DLLs, etc. Um, solution files, the plugin regist registration tool, and some CRM uh, resources. Uh, so today we're going to do the developer toolkit. The reason why I'm doing this, one of the early um, videos, is because I need to know that you've got this set up and installed and it's working. So that when I go through plugins in later episodes and videos, that I know that you'll be connected up to your CRM trial. Now hopefully you've watched the previous uh, episode where you um, set up your CRM 2013 trial or perhaps you've got uh, an on-premise uh, CRM 2013. Either way, today we're going to, when we finish running through the, the tutorial, you'll have set up your CRM developer toolkit, you've got a Visual Studio uh, project set up and you'll be connected. So the creating plugins then will just be the easy next step. Right, so to do this, you first need to go and download the CRM SDK 2013. This is vital. You know, this you know it can't get any more vital. It has the DLLs you'll need to create plugins and do any of your developing. But it has loads of other other useful stuff like tutorials, um, basically a kind of manual of how to develop. So you you definitely need this. There's a few like. Um, Prerequisites has to be Windows 7 or 8, and you will need um, Visual Studio 2010 or 2012. I think it's um, Professional Edition is the minimum. Right. So anyway, you'll down download that. Uh, now I'll put mine into uh, so I'll go on C Projects 2013. Uh, Here's my SDK. You'll download an XE first and then you'll choose where to put it. I recommend putting it here because it's just kind of easy uh, location. I'm going to assume at this point that you've got Visual Studio installed and set up and it's, it's all ready to go. I'm not going to run through actually installing Visual Studio because that takes hours. <laughs> so I'm going to assume you've got that done or you can do that now. <laughs> um, the developer toolkit so you go to once you've downloaded the SDK this is your SDK root file tools developer toolkit that is for 2010 I think and then this is for CRM Visual Studio 2012 and which is the one I am using um, so for the toolkit there is uh, a few prerequisites as well Basically, once I think when you try and install it and set it up, I mean, I've actually got my the toolkit installed already, but you'll run that and uh, you'll then have to so yeah, this does need professional. That's where I got that from, or CRM Visual Studio 2012. Um, basically, what you'll have to do is install some um, Silverlight stuff, Windows Identity Foundation. I get a lot. I've had a lot of problems installing that on servers you'll often experience that in fact that you'll have it on a server and it won't be working and it's this Windows Identity Foundation if you are installing uh, CRM that is so once you've installed that it should uh, allow you to create um, CRM projects within Visual Studio the reason why I think you should install the developer toolkit is it makes plugin development just so much easier it really is uh, I mean I would I have done it the previous way for a number of projects and, it, and it's hard work 
and you know you had to create the the plugin files themselves and then once you got one working you just copy that to all the other ones you created but this is kind of a GUI way um, and it creates a lot of the default kind of stuff that you need to create a plugin it does it all for you it creates um, let's have it actually there's a little list here of the benefits it creates strongly typed proxy classes I'm a big fan of this before I had to run the CRM SVC util myself and basically what that does is it creates classes um, in development of CRM everything is ba based around the entity class so all the entities in CRM you know, like the account contact and your own custom entities they are called entity classes in um, dot, dot net and what the uh, strongly typed means is that instead of using entity class to kind of and then the attributes to hold variables uh, which is a bit a slow process you've got to type in all the variables yourself prone to errors uh, syntax errors if you type it in you know, one wrong character what this does it creates an account class and you press account dot and then you get a list of all the variables it basically means that you, you're not going to accidentally mistype anything I, I recommend that very much using it that way which is why we're installing this it also generates the basic plugin code for you and so all you can all you need to focus on is writing the business logic that is in very useful saves you loads of time um, finally it uh, the most useful thing here anyway it allows you to, to um, register plugins without using the plugin registration tool you just deploy it copies it up nice and easy but I would say here that um, you probably still need the plugin registration tool because I've had some problems where it's not deleting plugins quite properly and so and sometimes you need to kind of double check that everything's set up correctly um, so that is why we want to build uh, use the CRM developer toolkit and we shall now go to Visual Studio. So at this point, right, so now we're going to make our Visual Studio CRM project. If it's been installed correctly, you'll have new project and you'll now see you've got a dynamic CRM template. Excellent. You can make plugins, workflows, a package, and XML, XAML workflow library I'm going to choose uh, this one here create a new solution so that's kind of everything so you can have plugins workflows all, all of the web resources you've got the whole caboodle there I'm going to call it POSC CRM dev 2013 and I'm going to press OK now it brings up this this is the kind of key part which I want to run through today so we need the CRM discovery server now if you went through your CRM online uh, the previous video and installed the CRM online you will have uh, a CRM 2013 trial so to find that piece of information we go to settings and on settings we go to customizations and then there's this place now called developer resources here gives you the details of the discovery service which is what you need to put in that piece of information now this is also useful if you have uh, an on-premise version this is this way this is where you'll get that information as well this little bit here and what you'll notice is it's different than, especially CRM 2018 online, it's different from the, your kind of CRM instance at the top there. Uh, and also you'll often find that you'll need to find this information out because you might have your CRM kind of development environment in a slightly different way, you might do it on the server. And so this is where you come to find out that piece of information. Um, so let's just that a second so 
we want this little bit here, the disco, and we'll go back to connect. We put that in here. We take off the HTTPS because we don't need that because that gets specified below here. Then once you put that in, you need to put in your username and password and online you do not need a domain. Um, so here you'll get this sent by an email as well. It's not, it's never very catchy when it's online. <laughs> very difficult to remember. Let's see if I can remember my uh, email. So we'll connect there. We'll connect to that organisation, which is my CRM 2000 trial, and we haven't got any other there. We'll just select default. Now it'll pop up because I've chose uh, the whole caboodle. It'll say, "Do you want Silverlight?" I do not want Silverlight. Thank you very much. Right, so now we are connected. We've got a plugin, and because it's basically a blank CRM 2013 installation at the moment, we haven't got anything there. Um, this file is important. This is where it stores your DLL information, where instead of going to the plugin registry, um, plugin registry, the plugin register registration tool, you can actually deploy things here, and you'll see all the information inside here. Um, you've got a kind of basic uh, template. This is what happens actually when you create. When you create your plugins, you've got this information there. This this is creating all the default plugin information. It's extending the plugin, the iPlugin interface. It's creating the uh, the variables you'll need, organization service, plugin execution, tracing. It's it's just setting them all up for you straight away. And which this is why this particular solution is very useful. You will need to know. Uh, the details of how this works because sometimes you might work on a project where this information they're not using this tool. Um, you might be working on a CRM4 or a CRM 2011 and whoever set it up didn't have this tool there, didn't know how it, how it worked and so they haven't got it. So what? that's why in a later video we'll go through what the plugin class is and what you need to do and just so that you understand how it all works. Um, Right, anyway, that is today's episode over. Um, so let's just recap my resources. You've got the, the video channel, which you're on. It's got a uh, Google Plus site where you can leave. You can follow, follow it there, leave comments. We've got uh, the uh, LinkedIn group. If you want to add some comments of perhaps what things you want or discuss about uh, development um, and I'll finally we've got my blog I've created a link to uh, the YouTube channel there and uh, we've got some comments here uh, obviously I also do lots of other blog posts right that's it for today thank you very much